Jay. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, Rafian, obviously a big fight uh, this weekend, top of the card, title defense is the interim champ here. And a guy who's very vocal and maybe more so than I think a lot of guys you might have faced. Do you try to replicate that in training? Any any training partners doing some chit chat with you? I mean, we talk all the time in training. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's nothing different than we've been doing, you know. Uh, yeah, I, we, we like to talk. I feel like I got a chippy group of uh, training partners. Uh, Adrian Yanez, Cameron Smotherman, uh, Jacob Silva. So we do a lot of talking uh, regardless. Good stuff. And, you know, when you have a guy who, you know, whether he believes it or not, he's outwardly this disrespectful. Does it get under your skin at all? Has he crossed any lines or you just kind of, you know, water off a duck's back and it doesn't bother you? I mean, it doesn't bother me. I would like welcome it. Um, as far as like it getting under my skin, I know it's all a facade. Like the things he said, I want to kill you. I want to bash your face in. You've never shown any um, indicator that you've, you're even capable of that. So like none of that stuff like means nothing to me, you know? You got, when we step in there, you got to impose your will on me uh, and I just don't see that happening. And you touched on the talk of stoppages there. I mean, in comparison to other opponents, and I say this knowing that the next fight is always the toughest one, how does he match up with some of the guys you've been in there with? Um, as far as the fight, I feel like this is an interlude for the, uh, for the like the tournament. Um, I, I don't feel like this fight will be competitive. I feel like I'll, I beat the shit out of him, um, and that's just uh, given you know my skill set and, and the opponents he's faced, opponents I face. I just don't see see him him being successful. And last one for me. Obviously, the other side of the bracket is something you're gonna have your eye on. Patchy mix, Megamed, Megamedov. What's your take in that one? Who's coming out the winner? Man, I keep going back and forth. Um, I'm edging right now. I'm edging uh, Patchy mix right now. But uh, that's probably more of me wanting to fight Patchy Mix because I haven't fought him before, um, and I want to clean out the division. Dylan Rush. Super Scots, Dylan Rush. Uh, the world Super. wants to know, will you attempt to right your wrongs and go for another backflip if you were to emerge victorious on Friday night? Ah, man, Josh Thompson asked me not to, but if I get the knockout like I want, you know, I don't think it's nothing stopping me. My body might take control of itself, so probably. And I hate to say it, Rafian, but it's been a tough year for mixed martial artists of Nigerian descent, Usman losing his belt in August, Israel Adesanya last month. How much of a role does your heritage play in your motivation to be the best? Um, my motivation is, or that that's huge, my uh national uh, or my my heritage in uh, Nigeria um, because I want to, ultimately I want to inspire people to look like me um, and Niger people of Nigerian descent you know look like me and um, I know I know they're watching I know they're rooting for me I know they're um, they're invested in me so uh, that, that that means a lot to me and lastly speaking of motivation in our interview last week you spoke to me about Detroit Dust Dale Brown Dale Brown and how he's rocking with you for this fight it seems like Sabatello found out and had some very choice words for Mr. Brown. So he actually invited him to step in the cage one day. Does this give you any added motivation to inflict punishment on Danny for bad mouthing the beloved Dale Brown? Bro, I feel like I got everybody on my back, um, you know, or everybody helping or, you know, rooting for me to uh, shut this guy up. And um, yeah, this is to add a little more, you know, it's also funny to me, I think, you know, because I think. I think Danny really wants to be loved, but nobody loves him. <laughs> so he's like lashing out at uh, people, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, no, that's hilarious. Um, and I wouldn't say it add like more motivation, but you know, I'm gonna definitely make some people happy. Appreciate it, man. Good luck Friday. Thank you. Santiago. Hi, Rafian. Thank you for the time. This is going to be a weekend filled with combat sports, but this main event between you and Sabatello it's the biggest fight of the weekend, and it's not even close. Are you loving it, Rafian, that this big title defense of yours is getting the attention that it deserves? I mean, you were a big factor in the whole build-up yourself anyway, so people love you here. Man, I'm I'm super happy, you know. I feel like this is cool, you know what I mean, for uh, there to be eyes on me, you know, me to be main event in a, a spot on Bellator. Like, that's huge. That's super huge. So, um, yeah, I'm loving it, man. I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it.
during your face to face with Danny on the MMA hour, you said to him that he is a knockoff of Colby Covington, and he clearly didn't like that, Rafian. Did you notice this as well? And why do you think that got a reaction from him? Uh, I, I I think he doesn't like that because there's some truth to it, you know. Uh, like he he talks a big game. Um, unfortunately, he don't like uh, he don't show up. I feel like as well, you know. But I, their attitudes are kind of the same, you know. I would say I, I dislike uh, Kobe Covington a little more, but uh, Danny's a close second. You know, he's a he's a pretty good knockoff. He's a pretty good wish knockoff. Bellator has announced a co-promotion with Ryzen in Japan. What what was your first reaction when you heard this exciting news, Rafian? Man, I was jealous. Man, I was jealous that I was no, nah, I was uh, I was I was super excited to um because I I would love to be a part of that event. You know what I mean? And to travel to Japan. So no, I'm I'm happy for those guys. Um, I'm rooting for the Bellator guys, obviously. Um, and I think it'll be an amazing show. You know, I think that's. I think that's like super cool. And that's one of the reasons I joined Bellator because uh, they do events like this, you know, a promotion versus promotion. Everybody wants to see it. So that, that's pretty cool. You seem to be in amazing shape. I cannot wait to see you perform again. Good luck on Fight Night Jam. Thank you. I appreciate it. Patrick. Hey, Avian, this is Patrick McCoy from Combat Sports UK. How are you doing today? Pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. Now, I asked uh, Sabatello this earlier, but after it's all said and done, with all the trash talk and everything that's gone into it, will there be a shake of hands after the fight, no matter the result? Man, I'm probably not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I'm be honest with you, man. I'm probably going to party on them. Um, that's just the way it is. I've been... Uh, I feel like uh, some like church music or uh, gospel music has like popped into my stations or whatever, and I'm like... God, you have to forgive me for this one because I ain't going to show no sportsman league uh, activities or nothing like that. I just don't like to do. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what it is. And a uh, slightly different question here. We're entering the festive season, so I want to know what's your favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie is uh, Friday or next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, good luck on Friday, man. Thank you. Mills? What's going on, Rufian? It's MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio. What's up, bro? Nothing much, man. Coming off a 10-fight win streak right now. I mean, you already got the gold around your waist. It seems like you're getting the sponsorships and all the, you know, attention that you deserve right now. But do you feel that this is actually going to be one of your hardest opponents based on the way that he fights a relentless wrestling style? Um, I don't think so. I just think um, I was like bred to to beat wrestlers. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a wrestler myself, you know, and unfortunately, his his style is like so one dimensional. All I got to do is watch out for one thing. I'm so well rounded that uh, I feel like this is going to be one of my e easiest opponents, you know, granted, you know, I know he has a lot to lose and I know he has a lot to gain by beating me. So it'll be a tough fight in that respect. But um, stylistically, I just don't see um him having the skills to deal with what, I, what I'm capable of. Got it. And another thing, man, it seems like the whole MMA world is uh, paying attention to this fight, this card going on this Friday, even though you got another organization doing another uh, fight promotion on Saturday. So, I mean, how does it feel to be the main headlight of the situation of the world that everybody's talking about? This is the fight they want to see bigger than Pitbull and McKee. This is the fight made for Bellator. You agree? Yeah, man, I definitely agree, man. I feel like it's the biggest fight of the year. I feel like we've been waiting forever for it to go down. And um, I am relishing in the fact that uh, I'm at the uh, forefront of the spotlight. So, uh, yeah, man, bring it on, man. I'm, I'm loving it, you know. Uh, I'm loving the attention. I love the, uh, the uh, all the, um, some people call it pressure. I, I call it, like, you know, uh, chips. Uh, I'm loving that. I'm, I'm ready to put it all on the line, man. I'm ready to, to give the people a show. Let's go, Taco Meat. Let's go! Thank you, Rafian, for your 